Dear viewers, we are pleased to announce the launch of this channel for teaching and training on the Alamine software for accounting and warehouses. First, we will learn how to install the software and create an accounting file. By logging to Alamine Soft website to download the setup file. You must also download the database version 2012 or later from the Microsoft website. After downloading the links, we will start installing the software by double clicking on the download file and by clicking on the next button. The terms and conditions of the program will appear and should be read carefully. Click next and then choose the complete option. Then click next and then install. The device will start installing the software until the end. After the program installation is complete, we are ready to start setting up the program and then start working. We will enter the initial settings of the program from the start menu to search for the Amin 9.0 folder and click on Amin 9.0 config. A window will appear containing basic information, the first of which is the server, where you must write the name of the server on which the SQL Server database is installed. If it is installed on the same computer, it will be the name of the computer. You must also choose the authentication mode Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication with password, depending on the SQL Server installation method. Then click OK. Now we are ready to start. I will now open a trial version of the software to create a new accounting file by double clicking on the software icon. A window will appear for us to choose the language of the application interface. To create a new file, we must click on the new button. A window will appear showing the system requirements. Click the next button to continue. Then this window appears to choose a location for the file shortcut, which is usually in documents by default. A window will appear explaining that this shortcut is not in the actual database and that the actual database is stored from the SQL database to the server on the server. Click I understand and then next. A window will appear to choose the descriptive name for the accounting file. By clicking on the next button, a window will appear in which we write the name of the main user who has full permissions. We can also write the password for this user. Then click on the next button. A window will appear through which you can change the database name on the server. By clicking on the next button, another window will appear to select the beginning date of the fiscal year for the file. Click next to choose the base currency for the file from the available currency options. Note that additional currencies can be added later. Click next to show you several options for your preferred chart of account or choose an empty chart to create the accounts by yourself. I will currently choose the Saudi account chart. In this window, you can activate the log file for all user operations, 
as well as activate the detailed log file. After clicking on the start button, the program will start creating the file. I wish you an enjoyable and useful follow-up for everyone. The file is now ready to start working. 